right, music you can see, we're at Winter Nam. I'm here with Drake. Wow. Hi, I mean, the guy that know. travels the world with oh, Sugar Ray Rayford. That's right. Hammond uh, player, songwriter. That's right. He's uh, like producing uh, Brid Bridget's new And I, I do Windows as well. Wow. I do. You know what's so awesome? Him and I are graduates of the same really small private school in Los Angeles. Yeah. We're both alumni. I think you were 100 years before me, though. Almost. Yeah. Almost 100. And I want you to remember to respect your elders. Absolutely. Too, I always do. And I learned that in Pacific. <laughs> so um, it's just kind of weird because this is a very small school. I think the junior high and high school had a total of 130 students. Oh, see, students. you went when they had a junior high. They didn't have a junior high when I was going there. My graduating class at 21. Yeah, well, you beat us. We were like 15. Wow. Yeah. Anyway, that's some rock and roll stuff there. Boy. So you were just in Memphis? Yes. Talk yes. about it. I did a couple of performances and, you know, let some people know I was there, and, uh, and that was that. It was mostly for Bridget, Bridget Purdy. Right, you're writing her new album with her. Yes. And Dave Austin. Yes. yes, yes. So the the purpose of the trip was more for her than it was for me. You know, I can open some doors and maybe point her in the right direction kind of thing. Uh, give it advice and uh, generally make fun of her when she makes a mistake. <laughs> uh, we all need one of those. Well, she's doing great under your care. Um, Let's talk about your summer tour. You, uh, summer, fall, you were overseas with Sugar Ray Rayford. Yeah, we started out in uh, Canada. We were in Canada for about a month. We were back for a couple of weeks, and then we took off for a three-month tour of Europe. And it, it was quite the marathon, but, uh, you know, there were a number... The great thing about touring like that is you're not going to the big tourist centers. You're playing for the locals in their own backyard. So you get to see and experience Europe in an entirely different way than you would if you were just going over to be a tourist. You get to meet people, you get to see how they live, you get, you know. So, it, and we uh, ended up one of the spots on the tour, one of the stops was a place called Svalbard. Yeah, exactly. What country? I, it's it's a, a, a part of Norway. Okay. It's way up uh, north and a little west. It's an island north and west of Norway. It's 650 miles from the North Pole. Ooh. And they have a blues festival there every year. A very cold one. So, but, you know, when would I have a, an opportunity right, to no. go to some place like that? You know? That is so And we were from there all the way down to almost the Black Sea in Romania. Wow. And a lot of places in between. So, it was a tremendous experience. That's what's nice about the blues. It's popular everywhere. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, you know... One of the things that we do with Sugar Ray Rayford is we try to push the boundaries of the blues. If anybody's ever seen us perform, yeah, there's some traditional blues, There's, but we have a lot of energy, and we try to push that out on stage. As, as Sugar Ray says, it isn't a concert, it's a party. Right. And, you know, that's an unusual way to approach this. But it's been very successful for him and for us. So. Nice. And it's a lot more fun for us, too. Cool. And now you... Oh, go ahead. It, well, it's entirely unscripted. We don't have set lists. We don't have any of that. Oh, it's all... It's all off the cuff. So what do you feel like Just like blues playing? is. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And, you know, Sugar Ray will read the audience. And that will determine, you know, what our repertoire is going to be for a particular show. That's so cool because it keeps it must be so fresh for you guys oh, every yeah. night. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing and, mundane about it. And and a, a great thing about him as well is we get to perform off the leash. Nice. You know, there's a lot of performers that out there really that want you to play things the same way every time. Got to, this is like, let's just go have fun, go play. Nice, nice. And now you get to slow down, not really slow down, but kind of settle down in your hometown working on the new record. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, 
you know, the road calls. Well, it's very cool, Drake. Thanks for stopping by. I've um, been following you on Facebook, watching all the cool countries you get to be in. One day you're in this country. Open book. It's awesome, man. <laughs> A true globetrotter. We got Drake, Music and C, Winter Nam. There you go. Mm -hmm.